Hello everyone, it's Magash Sunfjord and today I will show you a tutorial how to install latest Parallels desktop on your Macintosh device. So in uh, the second part I will show you how to prepare the Windows 10 Pro uh, latest uh, July edition on your Parallels desktop uh, application. And the last part I will show you how um, the itself the system works on your Macintosh device so Windows 10 latest July edition so first of all guys let's begin with the downloading the necessary files so uh, head into your browser and then I will show you in the description link that uh, the link the address of this uh, application to, to be downloaded so we go to you click on the I'm not robot then just proceed with the con continue and once it will be finished so we will be able to open that but anyway guys I just uh, this is just uh, I don't want to show you the whole process of download because anyway I downloaded that so once it's downloaded so you will be able to open the application but also guys uh, some of you might get some problems while while installing this so I want to sh show you that you what you have to make sure you will have to tick one thing and go to security and uh, click security settings and here you will have to make changes allowing apps downloaded from App Store and identified developers but also when you will be downloading when you will be opening this application so make sure that after you get error message so go into here and just click here a new message will pop up so just open anyway now <clears throat> let's make a down uh, the installation i want to make sure guys that I also um, Tried with different versions and it works perfectly. So, okay, so here is installed Paras Desktop. Will take a while. Okay, so it shouldn't. Okay, checking new software and just click on your information here. You will put your password. Okay, so now it's installing, copying files. And it soon will be finished. So, guys, you will also have to go into uh, Parallels desktop the installation and click for the tools double click on that and go to FE patch and Here you will see this file which you will have to put into one important uh, Folder so open up uh, readme and then save this file into library Okay, so You can see that it's already opened, but anyway guys uh, just make sure that you will put the if you want the, the problem to be working and cracked patched uh, whatever you call it successful so you will have to go to this location just copy that and then just click on the desktop then go and go to folder and then just click on the command and V so just click go and here you will have to add this um, file which is located here so just make sure that this file is here proceed with that since it's there so just restart your Mac and I will be restarting that Okay, just click restart. Okay. Okay. 
Okay guys, so once you restarted your PC, just open the application. So I will open that. And here you will have to add a new device. So let's make it. This is the file that I downloaded and this is called Windows 10 Pro. And you can find this file on the Pirate Bay, which is I really uh, suggest you because it's really nice. And it was downloading very fast without any problems. So anyway guys, you will go to Pirate Bay and then search for Windows 10 July edition in order to to be able to like just tap in Windows 10 and then proceed and okay we have some problems but anyway you just will have to download the latest uh, edition so once you open the program so make sure that you click install Windows or another OS from a DVD or image file so just double click on that and you can see that it it just found it automatically automatically without any problem so you you don't need to locate manually or whatever but also guys you might just click on that and just manually drag it here so there will be if if for example it doesn't find also guys if you have a problem it shows like it doesn't um it shows that it could it couldn't find or this um this file is will not be working so anyway don't panic just click continue and it will anyway it will work so here just okay express installation just make sure continue and then continue and that's all this is how you end and uh, so just also can make sure that you can click yes and this is how you create a virtual machine okay and it will soon be working okay So this is the setup is starting, so anyway you will be soon proceeded to further. So guys skip this because it will take time, but uh, just a few, it, all, all the things that you have to do is just click all the settings and then click OK, OK, OK and that's all. So here is copying Windows files and then you have to click for something and then everything will just boot up without any problems. So getting files ready for installation and you see that it will soon start. Yeah, so it started. Okay, so installation comes to an end. I just still things uh, done. So make sure that you can also restart manually. And then uh, uh, some some time left, not so much, so you will be soon, you will see the desktop. Okay, so we see that it's getting ready. Okay, now this kind of screen. Okay, so here's the last. And here we are ready to use, so... Okay, so it also like showing almost all the screen also um, soon we will be okay so we have installing device also guys um, you will probably see here somewhere here or here there will be uh, like install tools so these tools will make sure that the device will work perfectly and without uh, any errors and also uh, it will have the best resolution the 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 the, the, the I mean this will be the, the natural use of Windows so just make sure to install that so it didn't pop up yet so anyway it will soon may might show up 
So also guys, make sure that you will click on this button. So that means that you will run that exactly the full version how it is. So it's working very perfectly, fluently, without uh, any problem. Okay, we have our internet not working. But anyway, um, guys, just as I told you, make sure that... And also you can get back to your device anytime you want. So make sure that you change the resolution to whatever you want and all the things that you want. So... So you can see that it's working smoothly without any problem and even Cortana is working so so that's really great and I hope you guys also guys I will show you a new feature that appeared recently on Paras desktop application and that's really interesting so I'm filming with my iPhone and let's plug in the USB cable and you will see New certain device detected, so you can choose either Mac, Windows, or uh, uh, yes, so also like hold Alt to remember the choice. So that's really, really interesting, and so it's really helpful. Anyway, guys, uh, this PC is really working very well, so okay, now just uh, let's enjoy the video. And also here's the you can just make activate your PC so make sure that you will activate yeah so I forgot this one so here's activating Windows 10 Pro 64 bit so just create just wait a little bit and it will just make sure that it's working so guys thanks for watching and uh, i hope you really enjoy the video please uh, share subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more videos